There are two main types of matter, pure substances and mixtures. Let's take a closer look at each. In general, a pure substance is just a single type of material. It's, it's unblemished, it's pure, it, it doesn't contain any contamination. There are two types of pure substances. The first is an element. Elements are substances that cannot be broken down into a simpler substance by chemical means. Elements are found on the periodic table, and we have names for elements, and they are represented by symbols. So the symbol for sodium is Na, the symbol for manganese is Mn, and so forth. The other type of pure substance is a compound. A compound is formed when two or more elements are chemically bonded to each other in a fixed ratio. By fixed ratio, we mean that they always have the same amounts of each element. For example, water is always H2O. It is always made up of two atoms of hydrogen bonded to one atom of oxygen. Here you see some other examples of compounds. While compounds are made up of a fixed ratio of elements, mixtures are not. In a mixture, you can combine any amount of solute and solvent. For example, you can make salt water with one cup of water and one teaspoon of salt, or you can make salt water with one cup of water and three teaspoons of salt. One type of mixture is a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixtures have a uniform composition throughout. This means if you look at it, it doesn't look any different from the top to the bottom. Some examples are soda, air, and motor oil. Another name for a homogeneous mixture is a solution. One special type of homogeneous mixture is an alloy. An alloy is a mixture of metals. Some examples of alloys are bronze, brass, stainless steel, gold, sterling silver, and many others. The other type of mixture is a heterogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixtures are made of different substances that remain physically separate. For example, Italian salad dressing separates into a layer of oil and a layer of vinegar. Pizza is a heterogeneous mixture. When you cut into a piece of pizza, you'll see the crust, the sauce, the cheese, and the toppings all separated into layers. We see the same thing with salad, where we can pick out all the different parts that make up the salad. A mixture is composed of two parts. The solute is what is dissolved, and the solvent is what does the dissolving. In salt water, salt is the solute, and water is the solvent. Whenever water is the solvent in a solution, the solution is given a special name, called an aqueous solution.